بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وافتح علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين My topic today is a short talk about osteobicleosis Osteobicleosis is a sclerosing bony dysplasia characterized by multiple bony islands or enostosis and it is rare inheritant benign condition incidentally found in skeletal x-rays and it is important a predominantly incorrect diagnosis that is not mistaken for pathology the bony islands of osteopicleosis developed during childhood and don't regress, therefore, are seen in all age groups. Osteoporosis, it is autosomal dominant and often associated with osteopath osteopathia steriata and medivyostosis and also associated with other condition like scleroderma here this is the location and where the osteoporosis seen and it is seen around the joints as we see here and it is found in the ventricular skeleton and pelvis the axial skeleton is largely spared and it is rare to involve the skull here this is osteoporosis involving the pelvis and around the hip joint as we see here multiple bony islands in longitudinal fashion depending depending on the depending around depending on the trabeculation and the trabeculation in that area it is a linear and we see the osteoporosis it is in uh, in uh, organized on a linear pattern here another patient with two patient with uh, osteoporosis involving the around the pelvis, around the joint, hip joints, and upper femur, and around the, uh, here, more severe involvement than this patient. Here is another patient, two patients involving the, around the wrist joint, distal radius, distal under, and some of the carpal bones, and around the metacarpophalangeal joints, and, uh, distal interpharyngeal joints here another patient with uh, around the knee joint multiple bony islands are seen here another patient with multiple bony islands in osteosis involving the uh, the uh, involving the tarsal bones as we see here involving the talus and uh, calcaneum and some of that other types of bones as we see here. here. 
the differential diagnosis of osteoporosis. As we said, it is, has characteristic appearance, and but sometimes it is mistaken uh, with other disease like sclerosing, other sclerosing bony dysplasia and sclerotic metastasis. With the sclerotic metastasis, the, it is rarely involved the epiphysis. Uh, other differential diagnosis, uh, lymphoma, osteoid, osteoma, it is really multiple or chronic uh, or multifocal sclerosing osteomyelitis, uh, uh, calcium and phosphate metabolic abnormalities, FDM, chest of disease, uh, vascular necrosis or budget disease. These are the some of the differential diagnoses. On the MRI, the osteoporosis appear uh, these bony islands appear as uh, low signal intensity in T1 and T2 weighted images. Bone scan of the bony islands, osteoporosis are negative and don't demonstrate any increase in the bony abnormality because it is a compact bone. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu alaik.